What is up and welcome back to another Raid Shadow Legends video with me Z Real Deal and today we are going to be doing a guide on Gembo the Dishonored. He is an absolute beast in the arena. Do not sleep on this guy. If you pull him, you need to be six starring him straight away. He is an amazing champion. Um, so let's just take a minute just to appreciate his aesthetics. Um, I absolutely love the design on this guy. Like to, from his clothes to his swords. Uh, apart from his haircut, I'm not too keen on that. But everything else, even the daggers on his back, um, this guy just looks amazing. He is just, oh, I just love his design. Anyway, let's uh, stop perving over Gembo and look at his build. So I've gone for um, Swift Parry and Crawl. Really good on him. So Swift Parry is going to give him that chance to have an uh, unkillable on himself. So that's really useful. But he also has that. 30% uh, crit damage and 18% speed as well. So that's going to be based off of speed. And I've decided to pair it with Crawl just to get a little bit of ignore of the enemy's defense and also get that extra attack. Um, so let's have a look at his gloves. So 80%, uh, sorry, crit damage gloves, uh, attack percentage chest, speed boots. Would like them to be attack. Um, I could probably do that now, but um, it's a bit of an old build to be honest. But yeah, if you can, always go attack damage boots on your champion providing you're getting sort of 200 plus speed um ring we've got um attack crit damage amulet and of course attack banner so total stats um the only stats you care about are attack speed crit rate crit damage and that's it so um 5k attack um you end game you could easily push out to 7k um 217 you want 200 speed minimum on your nukas and yeah, 220, that'd be like pretty solid as well. Don't need to push any further than that. And crit rate, you can actually get away 70% with him. Um, because on his A3, basically he puts crit rate on himself, um, 30% crit rate buff, and then he then he hits. So you only need 70% with that. And um 260 crit damage, I'd say you want 200 minimum, and then end game you want to be pushing like 300 plus. Um, but even even in this build, he smacks so hard, as you'll see in a minute. So skills, um, he he's a bit stupid. I don't know what's wrong. Um, he's obviously a bit brain dead. Um, but what happens is basically sometimes he doesn't prioritize his A3. So you need to, if you're going to auto him on defense or uh, on offense, you need to program it so he does his A3 first and then his A2. So A3 and puts increased crit rate and crit damage on himself, both 30%, so that's going to really buff up his damage. Um, but then he gets an extra turn as well, so that's really cool. Um, and then he attacks all enemies and has a 100% chance when fully booked to decrease all uh, buffs by one turn, and this cannot be resisted on critical hits. So that's really cool, really cool ability. And so I just missed his passive as well. So he, this guy actually counters... Um, two of the best arena champions in the game, which is Liores and um, Skullcrown. And I will still use Gembo every now and then to take out Liores because he is such a great champion. Um, so for it to work, you do need to have um, increase attack buff on yourself. So you get that from like an Arbiter. So A1 as well, attacks one enemy two times and each hit um, steals any increased buffs but also has a chance of stealing one random buff and that goes up to 50%. Um, so yeah, you know, he can actually steal, um, what's that called? Stone skin. He can steal stone skin from the enemy and it looks so cool. Really, really cool. So yeah, if I can, I'll try and show you that today, but not always possible. And he also has an aura where he increases his, um, the, your team speed by 20% in arena. So, Masteries, um, I've gone for Defense and Offense, um, so Resistance going into Improved Parry, so to reduce critical hits on ourselves. Um, plus Thirster, so basically if we kill an enemy, we'll heal, heal up, um, and then Delay Death, so basically to reduce damage to ourselves, and then Retribution, just to get a chance of Counter-Attack. Then we've got Crit Rate going into Crit Damage. Um, and then we're going to do more damage to enemies that have less than 40% HP. Uh, bring it down. So if they've got more HP than us, 
we're going to do 6% more damage trust. And we've only got 30k HP, so there's a very good chance of that happening. Uh, kill streak. Uh, sorry, kill streak. Um, it's basically going to, you know, if we get any kills, that's going to increase our damage as well. And of course, Helm Smasher for that extra damage. Uh, on the right side, we've gone for basically anyone with shields on. We're going to take those off. Uh, so we're going to do 20%, 25% more damage to them. Uh, Ruthless Ambush is going to help us get the first hit we do on the enemy. We're going to do an extra 8%. Um, opportunist, so if we put um, stuns or sleep or fears or anything like that, we're going to do 12% extra more damage on them as well. And then Blood Shield, so if we do get any kills, that is going to put a shield on ourselves as well, just for a bit of extra S5 ability. So let's uh, hop into the arena and poon some noobs. So this is one of my favourite team comps to use with uh, Gembo. So we've got Arbiter, Hedgy, Lydia and Gembo. Um, but what I'll do is I will show you some different, more uh, like free-to-play, friendly, accessible teams in a moment. But So Hedgy's going to come in. He's going to lock out the whole team. Well, 50% sometimes. Uh, then we're going to boost in with Arbiter. So now with Lydia, we are going to push back the turn meter on... Um, God, what? Foley. Um, and then we're going to charge up. And then we're just going to smack. Double oh, kill. Almost full house. And luckily, uh, Lydia has blocked the revive. So that's why I like to bring Lydia for that. And Lydia's great as well because you've got so much um, that you can do with her. There's so much versatility that you can use with her. Yep, so that's team number one down. Let's look for a second one. Okay, so this second team's really slow. So let's bring in a more team friend, uh, so uh, free to play accessible team. So gonna bring in umbral so hopefully we're faster and actually i'm going to use my faster um arbiter as well instead and let's bring in a madame as well all right so fingers crossed we uh get the w on this one it's all about who goes first yep we're nice and fast okay so we're gonna cc their team yep that's locked them out and then madame's gonna strip and then let's slow everything down so Gembo can come in and just do that big, beautiful smack that he does do. Okay, so what are we get? Like. Oh, like 100k across the board. Nice, nice. Um, let's see if there's... Oh, okay, so this looks like a really serious team. Okay, so let's try this team out. So we've got Arbiter to speed boost. And then we're going to boost again with um, Seeker. Then we are going to try and um, CC Arbiter. We didn't land it. But what we're going to do is we are going to decrease their defense for our weaken. Yep, they didn't cut in. Nice. And let's get ready to slam again. Come on, Gembo. Show us what you got. Ooh, nice. Nice. So, yeah, triple kill there. And now we just need to finish off uh, Duchess. So we're going to block that. Maybe proc fear, no. Come in again, and then Gembo should hopefully just finish this off nice and easily. Oh, not quite. All right, bang. All right, on to the next team. So let's try and do like a free-to-play friendly team. Obviously, with that, we're not going to be able to take on some of these harder teams. Okay, so for the um, free-to-play team, we've gone Golden Reaper, Deacon, Kale, and Gembo. So we've got a double nuka. So let's see what happens. Uh, to be fair, probably, so we've got double turn meter boost, and then Deacon's going to throw out drop defense. Fortunately, it didn't really land on too many of them, but it's all right. Gimbo's going to charge up. Double kill. And then we've got Kale to finish off the team. Oh, he wasn't quite strong enough. Um, but yeah, so nice, easy win there. Just whack it in 4-0 and just let, uh, let the team do the work. So we're going to try the free-to-play team against this whale team, Yumiko, Krisk, and Lissandra and Arb. So a solid, solid team right there. And then we've just got Gembo, uh, Golden Reaper, Deacon, and Kale. Actually, you know my Kale's pretty badly built, so I'm going to bring in someone a little bit stronger. Um, let's bring in Rotos just to, just to finish them off. So you can bring in any other road, uh, damage deal, it's just that... Um, my Kale's not very well built, so I'd rather bring in someone that's going to do something. So we actually did win the speed race as well, surprisingly. Um, I should have really bought in uh, Madame, but I didn't want to sort of cheat you. 
um, and try to make it more um, accessible champions. Okay, so we dropped um, Arbiter, taken out Lissandra, so it's looking good for us. And then, yeah, we'll just work our way back to Yumiko. And as you can see, like, Gimbo is destroying the enemy team, you know, even without his defense. And he is doing a lot of work for us. And he is just a great champion. You know, I don't even have him in Savage. And, you know, like I said, I could definitely push his stats a lot further. And he's still doing so much damage for us. Great champion. You know, could not recommend him enough. And, like, look, we just came across this team that is just insane. That is like an end game team. And he has just absolutely destroyed them. And, you know, we're using really accessible team, uh, really accessible champions to get that win as well. So that is pretty much the end of the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I would like to know how you guys build your Gembos. You know, what gear sets you're using, what masteries, where do you use him? Um, you know, please leave me a comment below because I would love to know. Um, also, I'm really enjoying making these uh, short champion guides. So if there are any epic champions that you guys have and you'd love to have a guide on, please DM me on Discord or drop me a comment below and I will make a guide on it. Um, yeah, so thank you so much for watching, guys. Please, if you've enjoyed today's video, please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe into the ground and I will see you in my next video. Peace.